The Swiss Parliament has approved the resale of 25 Leopard 2 tanks to Germany on the condition that they are not sent to Ukraine. Switzerland requires countries that buy its weapons to seek permission to re-export them. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev discussed the situation in Karabakh by telephone. Aliyev stated that only military installations were targeted in the operation which was completed in less than 24 hours, and that the civilian population was not harmed. Bulgaria's parliament decided to give the old Russian-made defective S-300 missiles held by the country's military to Ukraine. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova stated that Ukraine attacked the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol using British-French long-range air-to-surface missiles called Storm Shadow and said these are supplied by London. The United States signed a $100 million cooperation agreement with Kenya for regional security and countering terrorism and violence. Polish Agriculture Minister Robert Telos called on Ukraine to withdraw its complaint against Warsaw to the World Trade Organization. Azerbaijan's Health Ministry announced that 192 Azerbaijani soldiers were killed and 511 wounded in the recent anti-terrorist operation in Karabakh. U.S. President Joe Biden, in a first in the country's history, joined and supported the strike of striking automotive workers in the state of Michigan.